In this video, I will show you how to get rid of the boot MGR uh, is missing the error. And uh, it, this kind of error happens when there is no uh, boot configuration and the uh, partition. So uh, I applied the, here, uh, the, the image on the system, uh, on the system partition, which is the C and the partition and now we have to move forward and uh, create or configure the boot uh, for that partition i mean the c partition so let's leave this part and go ahead uh, to the c in order to show you that the image is uh, successfully applied to that partition so now we're gonna execute uh, a couple of uh, instructions to edit basically the edit create store I will create a store for the, the boot so it will be basically them. After that, I will use the store command in order to configure and create a, the boot manager. So store create boot engineer. And I will give it a description, say Windows uh, Boot Manager. Ma, ma, yes, okay. Uh, after that, we're gonna import it. So. I'm going to execute the import option. So, for the sake of the facility, I will uh, select the, the path and uh, let's say. Okay, after that I will <coughs> set the the entry of the boot manager. And I will indicate that the partition is C. Now I will set the timeout. Basically hit it. Okay. And now there is no need to the to the PCD temp as the store is created now. So I will delete it. Now we have a clean uh, working bootloader. So let's move uh, ahead and uh, create an entry for our system. And now we're gonna use the create option, create, create what? Create in the description, it will be Windows Server. Windows Server. 2p8 this is the description for our system as we will install a, a Windows Server 2p8 edition uh, enterprise edition and I will add slash application OS loader 
And as you can see, the entry is uh, successfully created and generated. So we're gonna select it and uh, copy it. We will use it one later on. Copy. So now, the, as the entry is created, we have to execute uh, some. Uh, the set is one. This one's and the. Uh, we will paste the GUID, the entry GUID, and indicate the system route, which is uh, uh, before indicating the system route, we uh, we have to indicate the partition from where we will uh, boot. So the device device will be device partition C. And then the OS device, the operation, the operating system device. And once again, I will execute the set command. And this one, I will, this once I will uh, indicate uh, the, the path of the win load application. Which is located in, uh, in the Windows. Windows System 32. So I will use this path in order to indicate the window the Z. And now we go ahead and uh, indicate the system root, which is uh, Windows in our case. Then I will exec execute uh, a couple of uh, optional uh, instru instructions or <coughs> let's say tasks, which are the display order. And this is, uh, it will be needed um, in case of a multi-boot uh, case. So, so. I will execute it uh, anyway, and I will set this entry as default. And now I will execute the PCD boot. See, I and I will indicate the the root of the system, which is Windows. will tell me that the, um, the boot uh, files are successfully created. Now we're gonna exit and boot from the uh, from the C partition. And as you can see here, the system is booting from the C partition. And the setup is updating uh, the registry setting for the first uh, boot. The setup is starting the services. The setup is installing the devices. And now the setup is applying the system setting in order to make the system boot. So we will be prepared to, uh, for the first system boot. Now the system is booting. So as you can see, everything is okay, and uh, the system is well um, is booted as uh, normally.